Sasha was having a bad day. It all started with the arrival of the Colonel's favourite cousin. Galloping gunners! We're under attack! Hugo! Ah, ah, you never change! I know, but think of the money I save on laundry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back in the old country. It's good to be back, my old friend. Nasha! <laughs> Come on, let's check out the Colonel's visitor. <laughs> or do you want to eat? Did I really ask that question? <laughs> See you when you surface. I kept my strength by drinking the sweat from my top lip and eating stray flies. In the end, I beat them all off. Then I covered myself in fish slime, squeezed out of the whale's blowhole, and swam to freedom. Bravo! Bravo! And they never let you visit the zoo again. Ha <laughs> ha! Zoo? You don't enter real adventures through a turnstile, my boy. Dennis, meet my cousin Hugo Trenchwood, adventurer extraordinaire. Ever met a yeti yet? Uh, no. Then shake the hand that shook a yeti. You shook a yeti? There's an entire world out there just waiting to be shaken, my dear boy. Have a rubber fish, a bamboo stick, Half a pound of Nile mud and a travel brochure. The rest is up to you. Wow, way! Ah, you speak um papa. Wow, we hum he. Nasha, how many times have I told you? Stop eating when you reach the floor. Mum, I need the bucket and rope again. Oh, nothing really exciting ever happens in our house. Houses are just expensive umbrellas with a restricted view. See the world, my boy. Because it's round, you only need a one-way ticket. Hugo, Hugo, what of your last adventure? It very nearly was my last adventure. What happened? Rats! A land populated entirely by rats. <gasps> they held me prisoner. Let me out! Let me free! I cried. No, no! They kept me locked away, caged for twenty-five rat years. Wow! What's that in human years? Two weeks. How awful! How did you escape? I covered myself with fish slime and swam to freedom. What did these giant rats look like? Hugo always brings back photos, don't you, Hugo? <laughs> photos? Oh, yes. Always. Never known him not to. Never known me not to. The rotten rats of Abyssinia. You what? They're not rats. Why not? They look like Nasher, and he's a dog. Are you calling my cousin a liar? Who's Nasha? He's a... he's a rat! Yes! Nasha! I've discovered your long-lost relatives! Stop that rat! <sighs> Come on, Nasha! <laughs> Stop that rat! That's an order! Oh, dear. Hello, Rat Catcher Company. We need your help. What do you mean, what for? Let's not cause a fuss, Godfrey. I always knew there was something odd about that dog. Well done for unmasking him, Hugo. Oh, dear. The rat is heading northeast. Along Southwest Street. <laughs> They're both as potty as each other, Nasha. <laughs> no one could believe that you're a rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
but they did believe. Do not be silly. Give yourself up. It's going to be a long night, Nasha. Hmm, rat catchers in this neighborhood. Finnegan, chief rat catcher, and my assistant, Mullins. You're on the case. Ever since you called. You're on the case. Can you describe the rat, sir? This may sound silly, but the rat is called Nasha and nearly looks like a dog. Not silly at all, sir. Ordinary rats are a thing of the past. This is the age of the super rat. Mullins, hit the lights. The Brookhaven rat of 74. Passed himself off as a short order chef for five years. Kept a clean kitchen, too. By the time we arrived, all we found was his unzipped bodysuit. We missed him by a whisker. Mullins, hit the lights. Super rats are anywhere, everywhere, and anyone. Bo! <coughs> That's right. Stay alert. We've got that rat surrounded, sir. Good. Where? There, sir. Rats. At Dennis's house. Hmm. Clear off! Nash is a dog, not a rat. Ask any postman. Postman? They finally banded together to get Nasha, Mum. They look like rat catchers to me, dear. OK, Nasha. Down the stairs, through the trapdoor, and down the tunnel to the... Treehouse? <clears throat> How did I know? It's my job to know, Sonny. Hand over the rat. Yeah, uh, I think not. Nice one, Sergeant Slipper. Nasher is a dog until proven otherwise. We shall have a proper hearing tomorrow. You mean a trial? You can't do that. This is Beano Town, sir. I think you'll find that I can. Silence in court. Silence in court. Silence! I said, silence! Give me back my little hammer. Thank you. This hearing is now in session. Poor Nasha. What? My client is innocent until proven guilty. He shouldn't be caged. Overruled, Sonny. <laughs> I shall prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Nasha is a wire-haired Abyssinian tripe hound. By that, I mean a dog. Hooray! Poppycock! Nasha is a wire-haired Abyssinian super rat. My cousin says so. And so do the rat catchers. And soon he will be taken from his cage and banished to the dark, dank sewers below. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, Nasha. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Please, tell the court, is Nasha a dog? Uh, Mom? Uh, yes, yes. Nasha is definitely a dog. And does he eat loads of bones? Oh, yes. It is a well-known fact that rats eat anything. What else does Nasha eat, madam? Oh, anything, really. Aha! Anything. Oh, he is a super rat. A spreader of coughs, colds, and diseases. <coughs> See? <coughs> Objection! The prosecution is leading the witness. Can you fix that clock later? How am I doing? Great, Dennis. I think the rat is innocent. Oh. What are you doing with a travel brochure, Dennis? Oh, it's only something Hugo gave me at the Colonel's house. 
Wait a minute. It's only the case for the defence. Calling! Hugo Trenchfoot! <gasps> you say that you took this photo yourself in Abyssinia? Uh, maybe. Or maybe you cut it from this travel brochure. Ooh. With these scissors. Ooh. And stuck them on this card. Ooh. With this glue. Ooh. Order. Order. Enough wooing. Yes, yes, it's true. I cut photos from travel brochures to impress my cousin, the Colonel. <laughs> I made it all up. I've never been anywhere. Ah. You did all that just to impress me? All those stories and your cases? All that stuff? Yes. And this brochure talks of the famous Abyssinian dogs, not rats. Foolish. I know. But I thought rats would make me sound tougher. Can you ever forgive me, Godfrey? Of course I can, man. <sighs> I rest my case! <laughs> You did it! The case still stands. Nasher is a super rat. Hasn't Mum admitted that he eats anything? Just like a rat. Yes, that's true, Dad. Super rats are anywhere, everywhere, and anyone. Bo! Woo! That's right. Stay alert. And if I'm not mistaken, real dogs go woof, not nuss. I rest my case. I think he's guilty. Oh, no. What have I done? I'm terribly sorry. Do something, Dennis. He did. He lost. Order. Order. I want that rat. No one takes my dog! No rat escapes from us. Go, Nasha! Go! Nasha! Wait! Catch that rat! Gordy! Gordy! Nasha is not a rat. Nasha is a dog. <laughs> and the person with the glamour is always right. And a rat catcher is never wrong either. I have to find Nasha. You scared him off. <laughs> the race at the airport. The plane is heading for Abyssinia. He's heading for Abyssinia. Nasha's heading home to Abyssinia. He thinks I've failed him. You've got to take me there. To the police plane. To the rat plane. To the biplane. Oh, dear. I don't have a passport. Don't worry. You can share mine. Abyssinia, here we come. Faster! Faster! Where? Senior Hugo, do you have the directions? According to the brochure, it's a country. Uh, ah, yes, by the sea. Right you are. Hey. We'll never reach Nasher in time. Can't this thing go any faster? Uh, even the Colonel's beating us. We have to observe the speed limit. But we're in the sky! Speed limits are a ground thing! We happen to be ground things, young man. And don't you forget it. Look! The Colonel's speeding! Quick! Give him a ticket. Yeah, now, that's different. Stop! In the name of the law!
Where are we, Hugo? The travel brochure's upside down. Soon sort that out. Thank God, friend. Abyssinia should be coming up right now. Going down. Look out! <laughs> This way. Contain the area. What in, sir? You're okay. You're okay. Oh, no. Oh! And what do dogs say? Enough. Too right they do. And I'll second that. They're all super rats. Cage them all! Pleased to meet you both, but we'll have to do the family photos later. Come on! I love nothing better than cornered rats. No one calls my dog a rat, you rat! You... What do you mean? Look! It's a plant. It's a rat's tail! I am your leader. Unhand me. Allow me. A super rat spy. And the first rat we've caught since Finnegan took over. And now you know why. He's been leading you all on a wild dog chase. Remember, super rats are anywhere, everywhere and anyone. So, stay alert! Textbook landing! We'll never squeeze out of here, Godfrey. Ah. Well, time to break open the buckets and spades. Give me three, Nasha! for my first real photo of my first real adventure. Say, Nash. Nash! Nash. Is how I lost my tooth. But don't worry, I found it again. Oh, 
And there's me thinking you'd been to the dentist. I think Dennis's explanation is much more imaginative. <laughs> Never mind, Dennis. Put it under your pillow tonight for the tooth fairies. <laughs> oh, I'm too old to believe in fairies. They leave you money, Dennis. Oh, yeah. I believe in fairies! Did my ears deceive me? Or do I now have the most wonderful piece of gossip for school on Monday? Oh, no! Oh, joy! Dennis still believes in fairies! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Roll on Monday morning. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Tooth fairies. I just know it's Dad. And tonight, we'll catch him in the act. <laughs> Good. It works. <laughs> we mustn't go to sleep, Nasha. <laughs> What's that? Nasha, wake up. We fell asleep. I hope. Oh no! Nasha, look! Gone! The tooth's gone! And no money! Maybe my tooth slipped under the sheets. It must be here somewhere. <coughs> Let's check the pillow again. Where's the top of the bed gone, Nasha? <coughs> I'm sure it was this way. It has to be, because it smells of feet that way. Huh? Don't panic, Nasha. But I think we're lost! Oh, no! Don't die on us! Don't... Look! Light! That must be the head of the bed! Um, what, what are you, are you doing, doing in my bed? bed? Something weird is going on, Pie Face. I don't like this den. I'm getting out. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> come on, let's find out. Hey, come back with my light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little man. Come on, let's get him. There he goes. <laughs> Stop, you toothy! Huh? It's like in a bed, only outside. <laughs> A little man. Red leader calling. Follow me. Dive, dive, dive. Look out! Scatter! to base. Bring in prisoners. Over. <laughs> we call these three goblins in area Quilt Patch Zero, Your Majesty, and these two are in disguise. Hey. I'm not a goblin, I'm Dennis, and my tooth has been stolen, and I demand my money. What? He's goblin height, he's rude, and he smells like trouble. Do you want me to check him for goblin warts? Oi, get off! Don't bother. I know a real kid when I see one. I am the Fairy Queen, and you have entered a war zone, Sonny. We are the Fairy Freedom Fighters, and we need all the help we can get. Blue Squadron couldn't get through to the children. The kiddies will wake up in the morning with teeth still under their pillows. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Carry on trying, Blue Leader. 
A question I've always wanted to ask. Why do tooth fairies go for teeth in the first place? Leaving coins under pillows is the only way we can prove to children that we exist. And if a kid says, I don't believe in fairies, then... One of us is fairy dust. What can we do to help? They're ugly enough to pass for goblins, Your Majesty. That's a bunch. Let's use them as spies. Yeah, yeah. Hada, hada, hada. Can't we go home instead? All the portals to the real world are now blocked by goblins. To get home, you have to help us. <coughs> Sounds exciting. OK, we'll do it. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Here are your disguises. Goblins are incredibly stupid. And by the way, they do anything they're told. Except by a fairy. You must find out who their new leader is. And why he's doing this to us. They'll never go for this. Attack! <laughs> oh, no! They've got fly swatters. Good luck, Dennis. Our very existence depends on you. You know, on days like this, it's almost worth starting a diary. Stop running around, my horde of giggling goblins! We have work to do! Try to blend in. OK. Each other. Stop falling about! Oh no! <sighs> Look, Nasha, he's the one who stole my tooth. I got the tooth. It was under the kid's pillow, just like you said. You have done well. My tooth. I knew Dennis wouldn't let me down. Thanks to him, I now have the very thing to track down the tooth fairies. A tooth! Ooh! He, he found a tooth. tooth! Bring in the tooth hound! A tooth fairy. <laughs> See, it's tracking already. He can't do that. Not with my tooth. And when I find the fairies, I'll find. Gold! Gold! Gold? No. We find something far more valuable than gold. Uranium alloy? No. My baby teeth! He's lost it, Nasha. The fairies took them when I was just a child. My itty little baby teeth. And what did they give me in return? <laughs> That's right. Mere pennies. Well, I'm going to get my teeth back. Hooray! And we'll find out the answer to the biggest question of all. What do the fairies do with all those teeth anyway? Ooh! Find the teeth! Find the teeth! Find the teeth! Time to get my tooth back and warn the fairies. What? You know the kid I took the tooth from? Yes. He's coming at you. Dennis! Walter! <coughs> whoa! Whoa! Eat, 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 eat,
to sniff you out. I get the idea. And he's holding our friend hostage. <laughs> Children's zone three, teeth still under the pillow. Children's zone four, teeth still under the pillow. Are you ready? Ready. Now, honorary fairy freedom fighters. Children in time zone five, teeth still under the pillows. We must get to the children before they stop believing, or we're all done for. Let's go catch Walter. Dennis, good luck with your plan. We'll pull back and wait for your signal. Over. Wilco, over and out. Have you brought back my baby teeth? Show me pie face first. I want my tooth back as well. <laughs> the fairies! It's a double cross! Now! Now! That mutt's no match for us, Walter. We can fly! And that's just what I want you all to do! Sticky flypaper. Repeat. They're using sticky flypaper. wasn't my plan at all. took your baby teeth? Of course you did! You're a 
Tooth Fairy! Shana isn't a toenail fairy. I'd make a fortune. <laughs> You'll get nothing from us except name, rank, and cereal preference. Goblins! Your leader is not a goblin. He's just a boy. Yes, a boy. Seize him! Okay. I'm not. Turn around and seize him right back again. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Time's a million. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, he is. Time's 50 million squillion. <laughs> Walter, we don't have your teeth. Did you make a castle out of all the teeth? Ugh! How disgusting! Live inside teeth? I know, I know. You make little piano keys for tiny gnome-sized pianos. And yeah, listen, listen, and the black keys are all the rotten teeth. Not exactly. I'll show you. Hold out your tooth, Dennis. When a fairy touches a tooth, it turns into a coin. That is why we don't have your teeth, Walter. You spent them years ago. I appear to have made a number of minor errors of judgment. I would like to be taken back to my bed now. Oh dear. I enjoy being a leader in everything except a chase. Come back. Go. What gold? Thank you, Dennis. You and your friends have saved our land. To us, you will always be a fairy freedom fighter. We'll drop you off at home as we visit the children in your time zone. the kingdom. Wow! That was the best dream I've ever had. Nasha? Nasha? Wait till you hear about my dream. <laughs> 